All right, we are looking at unit 10 and we're using data to determine rate of change or slope and y-intercept. Rate of change and slope are interchangeable words, meaning they are synonyms. Our goals are to use data from a table or graph to determine the rate of change or slope in a mathematical or real world problem and use data from a table or graph to find the y-intercept from a mathematical or real world problem. Please scoot all the way up to your seat, condense your bags, and get in working position, not lounging position, not playing position. Yes, you too, scoot up. Your chairs all the way, scoot back, scoot it up. All right, let's turn to page 99. We're gonna skip 98. All right, so these are our key vocab terms up top, and we're going to use nine of them down here to talk about and discuss this visual and to make a, an understanding of this visual. Some of these things you may have seen before, and some of these visuals have some of the same things in them, meaning they have a match. Do you see the two triangles here? Yes. They are the same triangles, mm -hmm. except one is on the top of the line and the other is below the line. Let's talk about this line right here. It is doing what? Going up or down? Oh. It's going up. It's increasing. What is increasing? The slope. The slope or the? All right. So let's figure out what these parts mean. Let's find the x-axis and the y-axis because I think those are easy to identify. Somebody know the number of the x-axis? Yes, Chase. It's kind of weird how they're numbered. But this starts at one. Don't listen to your neighbor. Okay, okay, which one's the y axis? Okay, somebody else. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Go ahead. Eight. My x-axis is right here. All right. Y-axis. Yes, Lincoln. Five. Okay. Got x, got y. Now let's find the y-intercept. What does intercept mean? Lydia? Where they cross, okay? Where does this line in particular cross the y-axis? I want the number to the answer, not necessarily this number. This is number one. But what's the number to the answer, Brooklyn? Four. This is my y-intercept. It's where it crosses the y-axis. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six words left, and these are the pairs or the matches or the synonyms, okay? What you got? Give me a number and a word. Okay, little brain fart, who's got something? Yes, okay. Do you want me to come back to you too? Just kidding, legend. D? Okay, y'all, I've got rate of change left, rise, change in X, which is delta X, a run, a slope, or a change in y, delta y. Um, is that what we're supposed to be doing right now? Z, what you got? Okay, yes, that's a change in x. Excellent. Change in x, which is delta x. Why is it a change in x? Who is it parallel to? 
the x-axis. Good. So then if this is the change in x, go ahead. Okay, this will be the same as this. This will be its match, if that's what you were thinking. But number seven would be whom? It would be the change in y. Awesome. And that's going to be delta y. Now I need their synonyms because this line is going left and right. And he said number three thinking, oh, that also goes left and right. But then he said I need to say the opposite because this goes up and down. So if this is going up and down and this is going left and right, what other words can I use from my word bank to apply? Krista? Yes, number three is run because I'm going left and right. So if number three is run, Zay, number two close, Close. Number two is not slope. It is rise. Good. You're doing two actions here. You're rising and running. And then, listen, if I put the rise and the run together, what will I find? Because it'll be a ratio of the two of them. Zamarion. Um, okay, well, let's let's leave change over here with the change. What slope? There you go. And then the rate of change is over here. All right, so rate of change is also the slope. You should be jotting this down. It is the rise over the run because the rate is a ratio it's the rise to the run but we say rise over run because that's just the language that we use and it is the yes y over x the change in y over the change in x and it's also equal to delta y over delta x. Delta is a Greek letter that means change. You're either adding or subtracting. We're not just multiplying anymore. Yeah, delta, the delta symbol, the airlines, is a triangle. Okay. Mm, maybe that would be smart. If you're a future marketing person. Okay, next page. Flip it on over. Go back. Okay, just kidding. Okay, on the next page, the concept development. This is your notes, guys. This is what you're going to refer to to help you do your homework. Okay. Ooh, my star is a little different. Okay. So if you want to tear this out and put it in your notebook, great, but don't do so now. All right, we're determining the rate of change or the slope with a table. We're determining the y-intercept with a table. Over here, we're determining the rate of change with a graph. And in order to determine the y-intercept, we need to look back at this graph or this one down here. It's just the same thing. They're just taking the first quadrant down here. All right, so let's look at the table. It says, in order to determine the rate of change or slope, we need to identify the ordered pairs for two points. Point one is negative one, negative one. Point two, gentlemen, is negative two, three. Calculate the slope using the formula m equals y sub two minus y sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one. This is how you're supposed to say it. Please do not say y2 minus y1. Please do not say x2 minus x1. It's y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 
Answer. Hope they match. Good question. He said, why are there parentheses inside the parentheses? Because there's two symbols there. And this means minus a negative. And what happens to the minus negative? It becomes a positive. Okay? These are embedded uh, parentheses. I could put another one in there if I wanted to. Magic. If this one were, I could have put parentheses around this guy. Okay? So this is point two, and this is point one. You better let your voice back in. Point two. Y sub two and X sub two. These points or these coordinates from this point are going to be first. Y goes over X. Three over negative two. Three over negative two. Then we write minus minus because we're finding the change or the difference. I still hear a mouse moving. We're finding the difference between point two and point one, which is negative one, negative one. So then we'll put negative one over negative one and then subtract the y's, divide them by the subtracted x's. Three plus one is four because they make this a plus. Then negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and it equals what when you simplify? Now it says determine the y-intercept. If the y-intercept is not visible in the table, we must extend the pattern. Watch what they do. To determine the value of, the, of y when x equals 0. Every time I'm talking about my y-intercept, it's going to be in the form of 0B. Where does the B come from? It's going to be changed, though. If variables are X and Y. That's what they give us. What is the B? Where is it from? Where is it from? Where do, why, where do, why do we use B? Why can't I use X? Why can't I use W? Why can't I use Q? Maria? Thank you. Y equals MX plus B. It's going to go right here in this part of the equation. It's the initial value. Yes, ma'am. What does initial mean? Where you what? Where you what? Where you start. Or what you have to begin. Yes. All right. So... How do I get from negative three to neg? I'm sorry, negative four to negative three to negative one to negative two to negative one. What am I doing? Yes. Okay, well, from here to here, I'm decreasing by one. So I want to go the opposite way to get to zero and five. So I've got to do the opposite of what this is, and I've got to do the opposite of what this is. All right, so. That's my initial, that's my start. I started at negative five when I had nothing over here at X. Now, real quick, let's apply that to the try it. And then we'll come over to the right-hand side in a moment. So I want zero for, whoops, for my X value. I probably shouldn't have written that here just yet. What's my pattern going down from 6 to 9 to 12 to 15 plus 3? So if I want to go backwards, minus 3. What's 6 minus 3? 3. Am I at 0 yet? How do I get to 0? 3 minus 3 again is 0. Gram minus 3. And then how's my pattern going along over here? So what's the opposite? Plus two. What's negative two plus two? Zero. And then what's zero plus two? Positive two. Positive two. So what's my y intercept over here? Zero, zero. two. Okay.